but <laughs> okay, well, we were caught there having our own backstage conversation. Uh, well, uh, his name is Stanley Chibuna, born in Kaduna. Uh, they say he's one of the first-class human merchants. He's from Anambra State, studied theater arts from the University of Joss. Okay, sorry. So he was born in Kaduna, ended up in Joss, studied theater arts, and he's now based in Lagos. So northwest, it's true Nigeria. north central, from the southeast, no, man. Uh -huh. living in the southwest. True well, Nigeria. Yeah, uh -huh. let's see whether he's that true. Fortunately, he, I don't know whether he lived in Calabar, so would have tried out a few words no, or in, let's, in Benin. Let's speak Yoruba to him first. See? Uh, okay, so I'll leave you to do that. To introduce him in Yoruba, maybe you go ahead. That one cannot work because oh. I'm, I'm still new, so I'm learning that one. Oh, you just come Lagos? Yes, like okay. two, three years ago. Yeah, JJC. So, yes, I'm not too friends so with that. So you're JJC? No, that word too will not fly. Ah, uh, you know, Johnny me, just come. Johnny, leave it just come because I've journeyed around. So, uh, okay, Johnny. ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> funny bone. I wonder why, why you have flesh there. So where's the bone? I'm um, okay. I, I used to be skinny. I, I used to be like this, you know. So bone. you've made money. Oh, business made it. Better. Not really money. <laughs> you know, it's just you know rest of mind. Peace of Being mind. happy. You know, so knowing that God loves you. What is making you happy that you, was not making you happy before? You know, life. Um, coming to Lagos, coming this far, um, having people appreciate what I do. Mm -hmm. You know, having people show me love and tell me, my guy, you're doing a good job. That alone can make you sleep well and wake up the next day smiling. Mm -hmm. So the weight actually is not the money. I think it's the, me being at rest. But Why the also. name Funny Bone? Okay, I before now I used to be skinny, like very skinny, and I had bow legs, bow legs. I had, I had. Don't look. I had. Is a hard. It don't straight now. Uh, yes, you know because of the rest of mind I am having now. So I just discovered I woke up one morning and, you know, it's not there anymore. And I, in school, you know, uh, secondary school, I had friends who called me, ah, funny bone, ah, see your bow legs, ah, funny bone. Then once you look at me, the first thing you see is my leg, you know, but I thank God for my life. Now, once you look at me, the, the first thing you see is my cuteness hmm. as a fine boy, <laughs> you know, as a fine boy, you know, because actually... Okay, then change your name to fine boy now. No, the, the funny bone pays the bill, so... Because it's a record, I am one of the most handsome Nigerian comedians. So I, I'm working hard to sustain that and be on top of my game. You know what I'm saying? You know, so that's it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's our role. That's you our role. Saying. That's so, our role. So, so, hold on a minute here. Uh, you say you're a comedian. Yeah. Is that why you dress like a madman? No, okay. Um, oh, this is a costume. Okay, let me explain this to you. Um, you know, you're, you're not in the... Um, I understand, but I would I'll put you up to date. I'm not in the entertainment industry. Yes, I'm not in the, you know, um, there's a brand. Oh, not a I'm youth. not fashionable. Uh, I'm not, not, not There's mm. there's a brand, um, owned by Kanye West. You know, is a brand. So these things, these are what, you know, it might look like this, but when I paid for it, my account shook. Yeah, it sh I felt the weight. Uh, you know, but I, I had to, because um, it it's trending. You know, that's what is out there. And to keep up with these young ones out there, you know, the fans, the younger ones, you need to try and extend a hand of fellowship to them. So this is me trying to say, yes, I know I'm getting older, but at least I, I roll with, still with it. Yeah, I roll with the young ones, you know. So, but I mean, if the event, you know, demands as well, I will do it. I shoot, and I'm looking like, yeah, I'm on the so, other side, yeah. So okay. the job is um, flexible. So you, you fit into both worlds. You studied theater arts. Yeah, I did. Why aren't you acting? I am. I am acting. I have, oh. um, yeah, you are a comedian and an actor. Yes, I'm a trained actor. Um, okay. From the, pres from the prestigious, like the best of the best theatre school in the country, University of Jones. We're the best actors in the, the industry. The one that used to be part of University of Ibadan, not so? Yes. The, the thing is, you guys gave birth to us. We left from you and we took over. Oh, you took and, over. Yes, and we're okay. now over UI. It, it, it's, not our fault. We take over like all the time, you know. So um, I, I read acting in school and I've done a um, couple of um, acting jobs. Yours and mine, it's it come, Squatters as well, the okay. studio. And I've shot a um, couple of movies with um, MME Song, um, Ikech Kuhn, Yeka, Tony Abulu. And I'm doing more, you know. Oh. But the thing is, I do more of stand-up, but acting is, is, is somewhere, is, is there. Okay. 
Uh, you use what you prefer. You, you you prefer the the, the, the work of, of the comedian. Yes, because it, it comes it comes naturally. It comes with ease for me. I, I don't struggle. Okay, uh, that's it. That's, that's you on stage, right? Yeah, that's me. Is that Sunday last year? That's me. You see how cute I'm looking at? It's not my fault. It's just a fine boy thing. Because um, once you're fine, you're fine. You can't just help it. No, you can't help it. I agree with you, so? absolutely. <laughs> I agree with you. You've, yeah. You said you've, you've journeyed. I have. You have, have journeyed. So tell us about a little bit about your journey. Okay, um, first of all, I'm Igbo. I'm from Anambra State. Do you, do you speak your language? Flint, yeah, I do. Flint. I, at first, no, but I had to. I learned, you know. Okay. I'm Igbo. I grew up in Kaduna State, you know. Um, I crossed over to Josh to acquire my degree, so I can degree as a man. And afterwards, I served in Ondo State, and I moved to Lagos finally. So, you know, if you, if you cross-check, I'm a full-blooded, an Anja boy. Igbo, by tribe from the east, born in the north, served in the west, and I live in the west. So I think I have a, I have, um, I touched all the vital areas. I, I... Now, did you go into comedy as soon as you finished your degree? No. I started way before I got into school. Um, I started like 2002. Yeah, but then I was not in school where, yet. Where? Where? In Kaduna. Okay. Yeah. Um, that's... So I, I, I came in contact with someone who said to me, young man, pause, leave this, go to school, get your degree, then you'll understand better what this career is about. Yeah, and that's yeah. um, Julius Ago. He said to me, pause, young man, I know you, you're good, but go and get, you know, go and, go and expand your, you know, I, I did. And I'm, you know, I'm grateful because if he wasn't nice to me, who knows, I've been somewhere now doing what or, um, the rest are doing back home. So I did. So, um, did you find that pausing and getting a degree is actually is actually helping in your endeavor today? Yes, yes. Though at first I, I felt it was a setback, you know, because people like you were not making enough, you were not making too much money. Not really the money, because people I saw coming to the industry went like whoop, and I, I felt I was behind, mm -hmm. you know. But when I was done and I served and I came back, I noticed that um, it might look like yes, yeah, some uh like they are somewhere ahead, but mentally and intellectually you're, you're way ahead and in no time you would, you'd catch up and you'd be where you're headed. So for me, it's a major plus. I don't regret going back. I, that's like the biggest achievement of my life. I went back to school and I got my degree and soon I would um, get my master's too as well. No, you're working on the master's? Yeah, deaf. In theater as well? No. I, you know, the Business way the country... Me. Let me explain. The way the country is going. <laughs> The way the country is going, you need to, um, I think I want to do politics. Ah, yes. master's in politics. Yes, I want to have a, just in case my, my people call me back. So I can serve Are they them. likely to call you They back will. To serve They them. need us. <laughs> but you're serving them already. You do. I will serve them better there. Yes, from a larger point of view. Yes, they will call me, I know. I tried, they've called me, but I, I missed their call. <laughs> so I know. Actually, it wasn't job call. No, they've called me, come home. I said no. Let me Not someone yet. And gather more money. And come back and bless. I will. I will death. Mm -hmm. my so you'll go back and do what? Politics. And bless. Yes, bless them. You know, just make things, put things in the right, in the right uh, perspective. I will. I besides, will. besides stand-up comedy, yeah. um, and theatre and acting. Yeah. The question I wanted to ask is, how do you get the jokes you, 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 you do? Um, but. You can put all yes. that in, in when, when <laughs> Inspiration. I, besides these two things. Okay. What else do you do? And, and fashion designing, as I can say. Okay, um, um, first, first comedy is my first love. Acting, part of it. But um, I, do, I do business. Not like the one you like, the one you know, like. Which one do I know? Uh, like the one your mind will go to, like. Which one do? Because I, I'm you born, you be like, ah, this guy. No, not like the trading kind of business. Uh -huh. You know, I do show business. You know, I I, I consult for people who want to do um, events. If if you can't have me come around, you, we can meet and I, I I consult for you and I tell you how best to, to go about your event. And you call that trading? Well, I had to explain trading because I know where his mind was, was headed. You're, so you're I, in the spirit. Yes, you I have, have to like, read my mind. I have him not to think too far. 
then I basically I, I do um, stuff for brands, you know, brand activation, which is where they work, you know, which is where um, the actual work is, you know, having to um, um, suggest to a brand how best to market um, their brand and their product. So it's 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 a large industry. There's a lot to do. Yeah, as long as you're job. ready. I, I, I don't know what he wants us to do. By the time we leave here now, what would we be doing if he's... No, but I'm not a presenter. I, I'm not a TV person. Mm. Uh, I okay. act once no, in a while. I'm talking about marketing communications. Mm. Oh, that's what you do too. Mm, yes. I'm mm. sorry. Mm. I didn't know. I'm just trying to expand my creative um, limits, which I'm doing. And my show is tomorrow. My debut comedy show. Yeah, so I'll invite both of you to come oh, on for the show. At the Muslim Center. Okay. Yeah, funny but untamed. Yeah, and I promise you, if you come there, your life will not be made the same again. Because I'll what take you 4 p.m. Okay. I'll take you through a comedic, a comedic okay. extravaganza. So Funny Bone is having yes. a show at the Nissan Center tomorrow, tomorrow at 4 p.m. Yeah. How, hmm. how, how convenient. Yeah, that he uh, comes today. Yeah, how mm. convenient. So he can market uh, his show. Have you ever been embarrassed on stage? It's normal for every stage performer. Um, for as long as you are a stage person, it's something you cannot have, um, avoid, per se. What might happen with someone, people know. I cannot forget that it was my third year in school and it was Eugenia Abu. Yes. She came to launch a book in my school, a blink of an eye. And my HOD would call me and I left lectures and I got there. And then what happened was, I was, I was young then, I was 21, I was 22. The audience I met at the hall, their intellectual base was above my level as a young man. So what I was saying, you know, we needed time to sink in. And before I could sink in, I just heard, I heard a voice. I heard, I, it was clear. Get him off the stage. Take the mic off that young man. Get him off the stage. And you, uh, if she's watching, please come for the show on Sunday. Uh, you know, get him off the stage. And you know, and uh, I, I wept. You know, because I, I am passionate about what I do. You know, I, I was hurt. I wept, but that didn't stop me. You know, I, I went back. I worked on myself. I got better. I got stronger. I got bolder. I got bigger. And two years after, I had a show in Abuja, and she came. And I went up stage, and I saw her sit there. And, and I said to myself, today, Virginia Abu, you will cry, and you will laugh and cry. And I did. And I went to her, I said, Madam, I am that young boy in Joss. She said, wow, you're better now. I said, you too. You're better now. We're laughing. So it, it happens. It happens. <laughs> Funny bone, Stanley Chibuna. Yeah, that's my name. Funny Bone, as we change it to Fine Boy, thank you so much thank you. Thank for you. coming. Thank um, you. If you had a word, as you, as you say goodbye, if you had a word for Nigerians and those who may not want to stop and go back to get that education, what would you say? Okay, first line I would say um, Nigeria... That there are two people you're talking to, Jim. Yeah. Um, chase your dreams. Stay positive. Don't give up. Believe in yourself, hold on to God, and keep pushing. That worked for me, and it, it can work for you. Secondly, we are a great nation, and what we're going through now is only a phase. So together, let's stick together, support our government, and let's take our dear nation to the next level. We will survive, and Nigeria will be a better place for every one of us. Funny bone. Thank you yes, very indeed. much. <clears throat> so that's a sunrise for today. I hope you enjoyed being with us as much as we've we've enjoyed being with you for letting mm -hmm. us spend our Saturday for letting us uh, for letting into, us your... into your Saturday morning. Exactly. Thank mm -hmm. you very much. We'll bring you a new package, a fresh one next week. I'm Alera Edu. I'm Neotag with Think Nigeria, Love Nigeria, above all be a responsible citizen.